you see thoughts as thoughts, you don't believe them. Believing thoughts is seeing thoughts as somehow more than just thoughts. So if you can begin to just see thoughts, these thoughts have been there a long time, probably since you were a child. Mm -hmm. They haven't gone away. They may never, this is the thing, this is quite liberating to realize, they may never stop. They may never go away. It's very liberating to realize that they actually, it doesn't sound very liberating at first. (laughs) No, it doesn't. It sounds very scary. (laughs) Sorry. But the, the thought that you're supposed to make them go away. Yeah. I'm working so hard. Exactly, you're working. So, exactly, <laughs> it, it hasn't. It hasn't. It hasn't worked. I talk, I talk about thoughts and feelings as like your. They're your children. Mm-hmm. They. They're not enemies. They're not wrong. They're not appearing because there's something wrong with you. They're appearing because they're your children and they want. They want to be loved. They want to be embraced. They want to be allowed in. Even the most hateful thoughts. Even the most hateful. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a failure. I'm I'm worthless. That's an old. It's an old, old, old thought. And what we do is we we go to war with it. We we try and push it. We try and block it. And people. I mean, people will do anything. They'll you know, drink, drugs, whatever, just try to try and block out thoughts. And they keep coming back until at some point you, as you said, like you get exhausted with them, um, trying to stop them, trying to make them go away. That's why if you begin to see them as as just sounds or as, as your children. I mean, whatever works for you. Or well, sometimes I talk about them, they're, they're just like birds. They're like birds singing. A thought is just like a, a bird singing. That's all it is. They're just, they're voices. Like, I'm, I'm a success, I'm a failure. They're just two birds. Tweet, tweet. They're just, they're just singing. I'm, I'm wonderful, I'm terrible. Tweet, tweet. They, they, all, they, they all, and they all have a right to sing. It's a democracy. It's a bird. It's a bird. <laughs> they all have a right to their opinion. I'm a failure. It's, it's, it's a suggestion. It's an opinion. It's a perspective. And that bird may always come back to visit. It may always sing. And that's, that's, that's a problem if you hate the bird. If you want the bird to die, that's a problem. Because the bird will keep... If you begin to make friends with the bird... Realize, to realize it is just a bird. It's not you. That's the point. It's not you. It's not you. It never was. It's not you. It's a, it's a sound. It's a thought. It's a bird singing. Then, you can, you can have this attitude of, okay bird, you can, you can sing. You, you can sing. Okay. Sing, sing loudly. Sing. Now? No, no, I love you. <laughs> I totally understand. I mean, I, I was, I was always, pl- I mean, terrorized by by thoughts, and I over the, I tried everything to get rid of them, to numb them, to distract myself, you know, or trying all the spiritual techniques, try to meditate them away, you know. Um, I'm, I'm a failure. I'm a failure. Same. I'm a failure. I'm worthless. They're just, they're old. They're really old, and we all have them. Most people don't, don't have the courage to admit them. By the way. Most people don't have the courage to look them in the face and admit them. Everyone, ha- believe me, everyone has these thoughts. I'm a failure. I'm worthless. I, I'm nothing. I, 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 I don't deserve to exist. Or I'm, you know. I think that part of the problem with our culture is that we don't openly talk about this stuff. You know, if you if you go to a dinner party and someone asks you how you are. And you say, well, you know, I'm having this thought that I'm a failure and I'm worthless. <laughs> They're probably going to... Which could be your truth. And it's not shameful. There's no shame. There's no shame. They're just birds singing. They're just birds singing. But that person will probably lo- lose interest very quickly. <laughs> it's funny. Pe- people have this idea of me because I'm a spiritual teacher. You know, um... Like I st- oh, it's funny, like all thoughts, all kinds of thoughts still still come and go, you know. All kinds of birds are still singing, and like um, just the difference these days is that I, I stopped trying to kill the birds or suffocate them or silence them because <laughs> it was too exhausting. And instead, I just I just fell in love with them, you know, just allowed them to sing whenever they want to. 
and just knowing that they are birds, that's all. They're not, it's not personal and it's not the truth. It's not personal, it's not me, and it's not the truth. Then they can sing. So yeah, even doing these, I mean, I've been doing these retreats, these meetings for you know, years now, and, and still sometimes you know, the, I'm sitting there waiting to go on and look at like 50, 100 people, some, 150 people sometimes in, in the room, and the little bird starts singing, Jeff, you're a complete fraud. <laughs> and years ago, that would have been the worst thing, you know, that would have been, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I am fraud. Yeah. Shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> and these days it's, oh, hello. <laughs> hello, old friend. <laughs> And then it doesn't, it doesn't, um, doesn't stop me. If instead of that thought, the thought before I went on stage, the thought, Jeff, you're, you're the greatest. If that came, that would also just be a bird singing, actually. I'm wonderful. Jeff, you're wonderful. You're terrible. You're a success. You're a failure. None of these thoughts really define what I am or what you are. They're just birds singing. They don't define you. So when you start to realize they don't define you, and they are allowed to sing their song, and it's very liberating. You can even go, yeah, I'm a fraud. Yeah, I'm wonderful. Yeah, I'm terrible. Yeah, I'm a success. Yeah, I'm a failure. Whatever. It's, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, you're, beyond all of those, all those concepts, you are alive. You're, you're alive. You're a living thing. And a living thing can't be defined. By any of these words, any of these concepts. So we'll we'll take a break. Um, we'll take a break now, but we'll do a, a, a meditation based on that. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you. I'm a fraud. <laughs>